Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. This is take five of the intro. What is going on, everybody? Take it eight. is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And in a day I thought I was going to have a good day with my friends, they're just fucking around. <laughs> Every single last one of them. But no it's a good day. We got the whole crew here for episode three, minus Jameson. This is like the tenth time I've said that. Jameson is in the bush in Vietnam. <laughs> which, which you may think I'm kidding about that, but that's actually factual. That's where he is. But we are here for episode number three of the Yee Yee Lifestyle. Shout out to Mike Lee for babysitting. Yeah, shout out to Mike Lee too. Mike Lee also a member of the crew at one point. Honorary crew member. Crew alumni, I would say. So we got eight of my closest friends in this bitch. It's a total sausage fest. And we got every we got every stereotype you could ever want of a friend group in this room right now. You can't you can't see us and you can't, you know, make a picture out of it, but I hope by the voices you can understand it. So first of all I'm gonna introduce you to our residential alcoholic, Mike. Mike, welcome to the podcast. He's six six T on YouTube. He leaves all the no! bad comments. You can't. What? Uh, go f go subscribe. You know you guys can just plug whatever you want your Instagrams or whatever if you need some followers. But Mike, how you doing, dog? I'm doing fine until you put my username out there. I th I don't think I said the right amount of T's or sixes. Well. You know, pretty fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> Just like any variation. I think like between two to four T's and five to six you know sixes. It? And then maybe another T at the end. Mike, but anyone? You good? Uh, yes, I'd like another one. Oh, yeah, crack another fucking one north. Soon. Crack it open here. We got game number one of the NBA Finals cool. playing in here. And that just started. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah. Arturge, the Raptors fan. Hell yeah. What, what, do you, what do you expect out of this series? Raptors and six. Easy. Raptors and six. Hell yeah, boy. Wait for now. Can I just put them on? Yeah, Magic here? Johnson, yeah. dumbass. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good your team is. It's not going to be better than the Warriors, I don't think. I got Golden, I got Golden State in five. Or HIV positive Johnson. HIV positive Johnson. This is, this is the alcoholic in the group. He's already had five <laughs> beers. And we're like, what, two minutes into this podcast well, already? Yeah, he's got stress. All right. Anyway, so we got Mike in here, and then you got your crowd favorite, shotgunning beers on the live stream, Colton Jones in the chat. What's up? Uh, you shotgunning any beers for the podcast? Not today. You can't oh, shotgun, you can't shotgun out of a glass bottle. That's oh yes, you can. Oh, oh, yes. A tornado. That's what I did on the street. Yeah, it's a tornado. Yeah, that no, was. They don't even you know have the bushes starting. Oh before. really? Oh, I didn't Scuba think about that. diving. Yep. All right, fair enough. So explain, explain the fair straw enough. technique to those that don't know. So, I caught so, it. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Mike. Mike, Mike the alcoholic, the is the originator. You put the straw in the beer, then you pinch the outside, leave the straw in there, and you start pounding, and it acts like a water cooler. It just goes right down the yeah, gullet. right, right down the gullet. You're like, yeah. Or if you, or if you spin it fast enough, you can get that tornado action going, and you can shoot it up, and you can shoot straight down. Those are pretty brutal. That guy talking right now is our uh, crew douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> he literally right he's now the, let's 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 boss. let's go over his attire right now. <laughs> this guy's got champion shoes on with joggers, but they gold nuts, a gold chain neck. that probably isn't actually gold. It says Buck Butch on it. It's my dad. This oh That's so fuck. okay. Well, come on now. You can't just be doing shit like Skin that. Green. And then look, look at this. He has a diamond tattoo on his forearm. Can't have everything perfect. <laughs> the fuck. It has a meaning. What you he, mean? He did not like the fact that. That's the stereotype you are probably in the crew, though, is a douchebag. Yeah, that's very true. Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. And, of oh, course, we got on, the guy that's been on the YouTube channel probably the most. I don't know what to stereotype him, but we got Fitz in the chat. What's yeah. good? What's good? Fitz, Fitz is here. The Cardinals just drafted Kyler Murray. The people Fucking haven't heard him. people haven't heard from you since then. What are you feeling Born about that? 12. Oh, you know. I'm thinking Arizona might pick first again next year. I'm thinking 8-8. Eight Eight and eight, we're building. Nigga, you said that last year. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think oh, I know I said that last year. I was way <laughs> higher on my team last year. Oh. I think the Raiders will go three and three, so maybe not. <laughs> Patriots are going to Super Bowl again. Oh, oh. come on. Fuck and me. then past our turds, because we introduced him already, we got Lamar Jackson. Luigi's in the building. He's been here with... Uh, those overweight people that were out, that were on my couch and did Layton's some Layton's the greasiest non-Italian I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Okay. <laughs> Lay, true. Lage is not pitching in anything to the podcast. Say said, some words. He's not just even said, a sub. 
Yeah, he's not even yes. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. He's just sitting on How many phone. people here are subscribed to Treep Talks because you're good friends? Right here. All of us. Everybody All of us. Yeah. Is, has their hand right. Even Bailey. Bailey freaking doesn't oh, even go on YouTube. Okay. And Luigi can't even make a YouTube channel Wayne, to subscribe Wayne to Treep Talks. can't even get it up hey, for a Wayne. woman. So. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, I haven't subscribed either. Wow. Expect the resident douchebag to not subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expect the crew douchebag not to subscribe to his friend. And then coming up next, we've got literal Barnage. Ga Gary Barnage is literally in the building. I'm not like MMG and lie about being friends with Joe Thomas. I'm actually friends with Gary Barnage. Gary Barnage. Didn't like it. Yeah, because you're not even subscribed. Facts. Facts. No one here is actually fucking subscribed to Tree Dog. Colt, Colt, was a Colt. I have it on my Tinder that if you swipe right on me, you gotta subscribe to Treep Talk. You should have opened with that line. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Colt, Dude, that's that's how you that's how you be getting so many Colt thoughts Jones on Tinder. On Tinder. Oh, and we had two oh, STDs. Yeah. Oh. yeah, dude, that's why I'm saying I've been booming lately. You subscribe, exactly. and, and, and it's been my women demographic has been increasing since since you probably put it on your Tinder. Yeah, oh, because yeah, they know you the check. Got you gotta up. check the subscribe count always. before you bang. Oh, oh. See, that's a good they friend looking out. Right there. Three, they probably well. subscribe because they feel awful for you. <laughs> 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 that's why I should subscribe. <laughs> Three. Oh. I'm the fucking crew roasty. I get roasted more than anybody in this whole goddamn crew. Because you're the biggest pussy. <laughs> well, Bailey's Oof. got a pee. Bailey's got a pee announced in the chat. I can't squeeze. <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> It is a tight fit in this tiny-ass building. That's what I'm saying. That's why we need to fucking- we should've just done this outside. Should've done it at my house. So yeah. We would've had- we would've had so many more surface area. Casey yeah. would've came down and be like, Hey, you guys wanna buy Whippets? Uh, no, he would've been down there, dude. We're living down there now. <laughs> yeah, literally, this yeah, is this dad. is the time. <laughs> this is the perfect time to do the podcast because the crew's in a time of mourning right now. And we need to find Colton a new house. Yeah, so if you live in the Lewis and Idaho area and you know of places that are for sale, hit up Colton Jones at two hundred eight. Hashtag Colton Jones. Don't Colton Jones. Only. Colton Jones is the only person I could say his full name because that's like one of the most common American names you could ever have. Mine is pretty common. Mike Alvarado. Yeah, you got a white name. first name. And the Mexican. Wow. <laughs> that's that's you, if you suspect Mike to be the 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 Mexican in the group. What about he Arturo? is not Arturo. Yeah. Arturo is clearly Mexico. the Mexican yeah. of the group. That's why we let him get away with saying. I don't know. The Bryce Phillips is pretty easy to fucking say. <laughs> Bryce, <laughs> Phil <laughs> Bryce <laughs> Phillips is a Bryce Phillips is a generic ass. And if you type in late knowers and ED, it's the top trending thing on Google search. <laughs> <laughs> and then we totally, totally could find freaking Gary Barnage in the chat because you know he's done his football career. Just sit down in the chair and spin, and then he'll be on the other side. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to kill this. Your keystone's big. Ass. Bye, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, like I was saying, we're in a time of mourning for the crew because the trap house, the trap home, is going up for sale. So I think... Sold. It's sold. Oh yeah, it is he's sold. sold. Yeah, he's cousin. he's gone. His cousin. So I think it's only fair that in this podcast we should go around the circle and say your favorite moment at the trap home. Mm. Oh, I have a good, I have a good one. Everybody, oh, I got a good one. You can't name names. You can't name you names. You cannot. Okay, if you, if the person is not in the building, you can't name names. Oh. But you can you can say her, she, him, his. You know, you can say that. I wanna, but, I'm going but, last. But, oh, dude, Cam was like the first person to shoot up. Like he had to shoot up. The shot shouted out like he. Uh, oh, I got a good say. one, but I want to go last. Anybody want to? Anybody got a good one to start off? Oh man. <laughs> you sure. guys, there's so, so many I don't remember. There's so well, many. Well, if that we can, be okay. Like so the garage. I, I actually <laughs> uploaded. Behind the garage should not be said. Uh, the behind the garage is definitely one of the top moments that should not be said. Yes. But the and after, what the after when someone's what, dead should not. What be about said. the aftermath? Like, <laughs> what about? I wasn't the, gonna say that one. What about the aftermath of like what Barnage drank after that happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was not a good the, time. I think we should start or off the, with that story. Or Colger's no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or Colger's table in the okay, so, garage. So, oh, all the tables. Yeah. So what I, what I was going to start off with was a story I already told on my YouTube channel about when we, me and Bailey drove a Colton on the hood of the car. Oh, fuck. And 
the cops roll up to the house and I don't know. I think Colton, tell, tell a little bit of it from your perspective. Uh, well, they've already I, heard it from my I perspective. Know, I was just messing around with a knife, all drunk <laughs> or whatever. You know, I see the cop. He flashes lights. <clears throat> my first instinct just drop the knife. You know, throw it a little bit. Whatever. The cop kind of puts his hand on his gun and he goes, "You know, put your fucking hands in the air." <laughs> and he wasn't holding back neither. Yeah, no, no. And I was just like, you know, put him straight in the air, and I was just like. Yeah, I don't want to die today. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. That was that was literally the part where I could not keep a straight face because I was in the car and I just see you throw the knife and hold fucking ten minutes. The cops talking. Hold your fire! <laughs> hold it! <laughs> you know, like ten, fifteen minutes. I'm there with my hands above my head the whole time. Like, jeez. And then, and then the resident superhero was Mike. Mike came through in the clutch. Fuck. Mike, w- w- tell tell your story of that. Well, day. I was hammered, and, but <laughs> cop was pissed. You and Bailey are sitting next to the fucking Get that whole, the fuck like, out kid's of cop bank. jerking off. And I was just trying to talk the cop down because he said he looked like someone's dad just because he was bald and he was fucking obviously pissed off. He's like, I'm not that old. It didn't yeah. start. It didn't start off very good oh, no, for us. Thank you, friend. Who is he? I know. I'm but, an alcoholic tonight. So what was going through your mind? I know you're taking. Mike is taking that. Uh, never mind. I can't say that probably on the pod. What but, my degree? Yeah. Clutch. Oh yeah. No, I'm in. I'm in criminal justice, so I know how to talk to cops. Yeah. Thank so God. so he really came in clutch that night. And then the one part I'll never forget is that I see these no. cop cars, right? And I'm getting ready to be talked to by these cops, and I see Barnage on the carport. He looks, turns away, and just walks right back downstairs. <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay, yeah, just don't even help. I know, I know you told Amber to just hide. It's not the only time Barnage has done that, too. He's had that happen a few times. You know, and I think that's that might be the part I miss about it the most, even though it wasn't great, but, like, when the cops would come over to Colton's house, like, that is, like, the best stories we have. I remember freaking... St. Patrick's Day, me and me and uh, <laughs> Fitz. My birthday, basically. Yeah, my me and Fitz. Weekend. Me and Fitz are going out to the to my car to get something, and then these cops roll up and it's like, "Have you been chasing around little girls in your, <laughs> in your car tonight, sir?" And we're just like hammered, and we're like, "What? No!" And then this guy's flashing his lights all up in my shit, and he's just like, "All right, the engine is cold. You're off with a warning." And Fitz literally took the conversation and ran with it. I was. I was nervous, but Fitz came through in the clutch, so f- tell that story from your point you of view, know, Fitz. You uh, know, we were just walking out to Treep's car, me being a good friend, of course, I decided to walk with him. This <laughs> this cop just rolls up, you know. Just for no reason. Turns either. on the light. Just <laughs> rolls <reflects. laughs> Yeah, and it's, uh, it, it, must be, <laughs> it must be a rookie cop, because he's got a buddy in the passenger seat, you know. You know, he's still on his first his couple days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so me and Treep both have beers in our hands, we're both fucking plastered we're drunk we're gone and and this this cop's got the light shine on troops face for a solid like the whole time i was talking to him like 10, <laughs> 10 15 my face. minutes like straight to the eyes like just locked on tree and i just you know i don't know what it is but in the cl- in those moments i just hit this clutch factor where i'm like all right i'm gonna talk gonna this bitch out of here this guy's gonna get out of here and it's gonna be a cakewalk so i ended up just pulling it off talking this guy down and this whole time Treves, you know he's got beers in his hand just I mean we're fucked up fucked up <laughs> I mean, it was bad came through clutch and then I think another thing that I'm gonna miss about Colger's house is that we made a literal game out of everything like there is just like little sh- like we played straight beer pong in the shop like not even playing beer pong like just shooting around and then I'll never forget we made a Four square court in your shop, oh my God. and then the night the night of playing four square, and then your dad would park the boat in the garage, and it would ruin everything. So when the boat's in the garage, we can't play four square. We're grown ass adults being pissed off about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was that's what some of my favorites. Cam, I Thank think you. you've been holding back. What's, what's your favorite trap home memory? So my favorite trap home memory is probably the first year I met Colton. It was probably in sixth grade. Sixth grade, yeah. That's was, so much. There's so many like years linked of friendship here, like between Cameron, Colton, me, Bryce, Arturo, Barn. Like this is, like I said in the promo, dude, lifetime of friendship in here. So on I, I, on his uh like in sixth grade on his birthday, he was having a bunch of people over, and I remember this one guy. He comes over 
and he's mood he's goading everyone. Like <laughs> explain <laughs> explain what goading is. He's just goading everyone. And goading is means where you pull your pants down, you show your ass, and then you you, you just show your nuts just a little bit. Oh, okay, just, all right. You just tease them with it. Tease them with it. And they get up in their face and you get up in your face with it. And so uh, this guy was goading everyone. It was it was quite hilarious at the time. <laughs> and then we have this one friend. He was come, a bit older. Yeah, he's a bit older guy who's goading people. And we have this one friend come over who's our age. He comes over and he gets goaded. And this goat is all up in his face, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like, it's like a literal all goat. up in that, like that <laughs> ass and balls are all, all up in this guy's face. <laughs> and he sees it and he just starts bawling. He starts. <laughs> He literally starts crying like a baby back bitch, and he and he walks home. I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of fucked up that we goaded him and everything, but I just think it's hilarious that he cried, <laughs> that he cried like a little baby, and then went home and he complained to his mom, and his oh, mom wait. called. I think it was someone. Uh, never mind. And his mom called it, Colton's dad and complained about it, and then when we went to school. Our teacher happened to know about it. Oh, God. And he yeah. gave a shit for it. And it was just like, we're not the one that cried about getting goaded, though. So I don't understand why we got in trouble for it. <laughs> that was like didn't... the sixth or seventh. <laughs> I know. I'm, so, I'm right. so hyped we got some, like, middle school, what elementary school it? memories in here. That was probably my favorite. Probably my, one of my favorites. Top ten. All right. I think the next person I want to turn to is Barnage. Because if, if we're being honest here, out of everybody in this room who's logged the most hours at Colge's house, it's born by a quarter mile. This guy spends fall asleep on the couch. Yeah, he spends the night over there. He's um, he's basically a resident of the trap house. Casey so. calls him the stinky basement dweller. <laughs> <laughs> His Ooh. second so son. Let, let, let's Man, hear talk s- about the time you fucking. Saw Colton just passed out with his dick in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's start off with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was, the 4th, was that 4th of July? Dude, that was hell 4th of July. <laughs> that was like 2015. Oh, was <laughs> Alright, let's talk yeah, about the... Oh, was recent, too. Let's, talk, let's talk about 4th of July 2015. Oh, Barnage. my God. Our ter- oh. I think these these three are going to... Barnage, Arturge, and Colge are going to pitch in on this one. That was the trio that was... Dude, Austin hated us so much that day. That Night was, <laughs> that night was crazy. Me and our trail finished like a bottle of Captain Morgan, like in the tenth grade. Like, yeah, like, just, just out of our just minds. Just Arturo and Colton, <laughs> and me and Bryce were babysitting. Dude, we couldn't even get out of the fucking car. <laughs> I don't think Bryce was there. I wasn't there. Yeah, we were there. Shout out to Jameson being on the bush. It was a it was a couple of girls that were with us. I don't know if you remember. Who uh, oh, you were sleep jacking off. No, <laughs> no, no. I, I remember exactly what happened. <laughs> no, we went to, we went and watched the fireworks. And like, they just got drunk as hell. Did you fall you were jacking off? What? Did you fall asleep while you were jacking off? Who yeah. were you jacking off? Yeah. 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 It was like, wait a It was... It was, was probably close to like. <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> on the couch. It was like there. midnight or something. I was going to go to bed. <laughs> and I needed... <laughs> I needed a phone charger, and I went to go wake up Colton to grab a phone charger. And he had his dick in his hand. <laughs> and he straight up had his dick in his hand with his pants down, and all I saw was big ass balls. <laughs> I was like, I just died. I, I just turned around. I just went right back outside. I was like, I can't do this. I right wish now. you took a picture. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm so gay though. <laughs> All right, so the, the quietest guy in the chat so far, Luigi. I honestly don't even know what your favorite trap home memory would be, but yeah, it was probably, when, on. probably yeah. when I saw Weem body slam Colge. Oh, that was a choke slam. That was a choke slam. Snapped it right in half. What's going on? Dude, why, don't you, why don't you explain that one? Well, they're both they're drunk, bagged. so. They're bagged? They're bagged. That was on the couch. podcast ruin. Ooh, I'll cut her out. Oh. Oh, yeah. bag over here, bro. Is there a bag? Oh, wait! Wait, and you're sitting on it. Bullshit. Right there, that. I need that. Fat. that yeah, yep, wait, dress, 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 thank you. Bag. Bag. <laughs> bag my dick. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway. So anyway, they're both drunk, like usual, like pretty much every story. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And Ben just decided to choke slam Colge right in the table. Well, I think we need to explain... Where that joke originated from. Because it started off... Well, that's what your guys is. Yeah, that's, that's... I don't know the history. That originated from me and Bryce putting each other... 
shit yeah. through the tables. Yeah. Oh, I remember that because I, I put you through a table. Yeah, you put yeah. me. I have videos of you put me through a table. You put me through a table. We have a long, rich history table. of putting people through well, tables, yeah, especially me. <laughs> just like Kyle just cold, getting drywall. We used to watch <laughs> the good, good <laughs> stuff, WWE shit. You know, the Sorry, good me. stuff where they put people through tables. You know what? I, so, bro, right, Aiden, right here, Aiden. right now, I have a video saved of when our buddy Dakota, who's not in the chat right now. Put Bryce through a table, and that video will play right now. Hammering his fucking mind! No, man! But anyway, George Bush doesn't whoa, care whoa, about whoa, white whoa, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But, uh, we just, we just kind of originated from Don't watching go people go through tables off WWE, oh, and we were kind of like, you know, we got these, like, plywood boards, you know, they're not very heavy duty, you can go right through them pretty easy. So we decided that we were just gonna start doing it, and I was I was about it. I wanted to go through it immediately. So, <laughs> dude, wasn't was the first time when we played Uno? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, that yeah. was the first time. Yeah, it was it was, it was the first time. Stole all the green cards. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing Uno, and uh, me and Colton had looked at They're each other. We're both Mexican. It's fun. We, <laughs> me and Colton both looked at each other, and we were like, "All right, so when the first person who says Uno." I'm gonna pick your ass up, and you're going through this table. And it was just kind of something we didn't really like let anybody else know about. Dude, we I was just, shook. We kind of just, so we shook. Kinda I just had no idea. We just kind of looked they at each other. They were just putting pillows underneath the yeah, thing, yeah, and nobody, I was like, and nobody, nobody noticed. noticed. Yeah. Bryce is putting the couch I didn't even right notice. I, right I, I was trying to win a game of Uno. You feel me? Like, and the funny <laughs> thing is, is it gets around the table, and I'm the one that ends up actually having to say Uno. So I pretty much keyed it in, and then. It, it would just we just fucking said it. Everybody's Uno cards went fucking flying, and I went through a table. <laughs> Dude, don't you have a picture of Bryce just laying through a table? I do. I posted up? it on the Fourth of July. Your Instagram, yeah. Saying <laughs> so respect everybody. Yeah, respect the troops. <laughs> and the funny thing about this, no one respects the troops <laughs> more than me. <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing about this was I was even willing to put a lady through a table. I would have oh, done Oh, dude, it. who was I that? I would have said Oh, it. yeah, that was that was freaking Amber. We were going to put Ambier through Yeah, table. we were going to put Ambier. You put Ambier, Ambier through a table? Which I, I was about it. I was going to do oh, it. you are about to. Yeah, but everybody I advised died. against it. But, but everybody laughed their ass sure off when she fell off a boat and hit her head on concrete. Dude, that was oh, dude, I Bryce, fell off a boat. Bryce! Bryce! <laughs> Bryce is okay. That's what we'll, we'll talk about that. Thing. And Cameron, so, that's real. Like she fell off that boat in the garage, and, I and Molly thwapped her fucking head <laughs> on the right floor. on the concrete. That's so oh, fucked so, up. At least mine was on the grass, way, I guess. So we, Colch has oh, a yeah. boat, and this boat can be at any place at any time. It could either be in his yard, it could be in the shop. That's actually basically the only two places the it can be. The river, yeah, the basement. <laughs> <laughs> but freaking, the they had point. a fish there from when they went fishing, and me and me and Cole, I think this is another night of we were drinking. We we're like, Bryce, you can't catch that fish. We had it in the live well. You can't bring those cups. That that and then Bryce is trying for like five minutes to get this fish. <laughs> Finally gets the fish, holds it in the air, and then he fucking barehanded. He, he jumps, jumps out of the boat, <laughs> trips over some wired fucking uh, uh, concussion with the I put it back head. in the live Oh, ball. I thought you still had the fish no. in your head. <laughs> That's why I always like that story. We got off the boat, and there's... I didn't see it, because we're it's dark as fuck. We're drinking. <laughs> and it was like this like metal wire that hangs off the engine. I don't know why it was there. I don't know what, it's, there's what little... purpose it is. But <coughs> I, I jumped off the back of the boat. I thought I was clean <laughs> about... Probably about coming down about halfway, my foot catches that that wire, and I just go straight head first into the ground. I thought I was concussed. I was out. <laughs> I was just laying on the ground. It was so like that, that Peter where he dies. That Peter Griff moment. He's just sitting there holding his knee. It was basically uh, that was like Bryce, but like 15, 20 minutes solid straight. Then he gets up. He goes. I'm good. So I think. I think one of the other better stories is when uh, I Mike, am off. Oh, that's that's literally where I was going with it. When Mike first joined the crew, first time he came over. To my fir house. First time he came over, and it was probably the most spur of the moment he's crazy like, shit. He's like, I got four eighteen packs of Rolling Rock. Let's drink. And, I'm <laughs> and like, we're I don't know. We're like what junior seniors in high schools, and we're like in high school. No, we just graduated. Oh, we're just it? fresh graduated. I was yeah. working at oh, Funk yeah. still. 
Well, no, you were, I thought you were working no, at No, I was working at Funks. When, oh, oh yeah, I was you, working at Rose Arts. Really? Rose Arts. Yeah. I thought y'all started hanging out before. Well, right, me and Mike, right, right. me and Mike kind of go for back. a minute. Not and then, me, though. And then I vanished. But yeah, I got well. I no, you gotta tell the story. I don't even remember it. So I remember I, I talked Colton. They had to remind me three months after it happened that it happened. I I told Colton I was like we should have Mike come over and he's like oh I guess because <laughs> when we were younger that'd be how Colton would greet any new guest. He'd be like oh I guess and and so Mike came over. We get hammered and. He spills beer on this glass table. You know the glass table where all your homies meet out at 3 a.m. And, and have, have really... shitty conversations, yeah. yeah. Which is basically what this is just a recording of. <laughs> 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 so we were out there, and Mike goes to slurp the uh, beer off the table, and Jameson just so happened to be recording it. And he sucks up a dead moth <laughs> right just from the, the <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Jay, I'll have Jameson send me a video to play it right now. <laughs> oh. So now you've seen that. Cr- You're cause... gonna put that there. <laughs> yeah. So you see the. You just seen that catastrophe. I tried saying that word the other day and I couldn't fucking say it. Like... All right. So let's see our church. I mean, you're deep into interest with the Raptors playing again. I know you're a Raptors fan. Boy, What's the score? Update the, the score. Twenty-five nineteen. Raptors are up. Oh, Wait. Raptors are up. Who's, who's going yeah. off? Fucking Curry's going off. Oh. But Kawhi, obviously. So, what is your favorite trap home memory? Fuck, dude, I was just gonna say Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Dude, I got a good picture from us that night too. That picture will be right here. Was it That's what I want. I want to edit this really right. nice, so like it's just a bunch of collages of our friends. I just remember you spilled May thirtieth is forever the crew anniversary. You you spill uh, Captain Morgan all over your shirt, so I pulled one of my oh, dad's fuck, shirts. Fuck, dude, yeah. I, I pulled my dad's that. shirt off. Me and my dad had matching shirts and shorts, <laughs> and then me and Arturo were in matching shirts, and they're like Fourth of July, you know, like. American flag. And yeah, we dude, I fucking remember Start flexing that. on them hoes like nothing, dude. <laughs> we <laughs> had freedom. <laughs> we had freedom like no other, dude. No. It was awesome. So, another thing that we would do with our turtles, we used to go to his house and he used to be by this this park. And... We, cool. <laughs> yeah, and... And freaking... Me, Barn, our turtles, we were like big kids. We had no business doing wow. this. But we would do parkour... At oh, freaking uh, oh, dude, on <laughs> Castle Park, R.I.P. Castle Park. Yeah, Castle yeah. Park's no longer a thing anymore. But oh, oh, wait, you, can, you you can't go and play on the park anymore. Well, no, dude, it's, it's not wooden. It's, it's, it's oh, not the oh, same yeah. Castle yeah. Park. Yeah, true. So we do parkour there, and one of the best memories I have is we'd start on this picnic bench. We'd run up like these fucking like, aisle corner things, and we get up on this top of this bridge, and Cold just. Gets the wrong footing and just falls Dude. flat on his back. Yeah, so it was like bark or whatever. And I don't know, I tried jumping off it, doing a cool flip or whatever. And I just <laughs> caught my foot, kind of like how Bryce caught his foot on the wire on the boat. <laughs> except mine was just like right on the handrail. And I just fell, I did like a flip, I landed right on my back and I just. <laughs> the noise and, I will never forget. Yeah, and like everyone was all looking at me like, oh, oh dude. And I was I, like, I oh. started laughing immediately. And I was like, oh my god, take me to a hospital. Like, fuck. <laughs> I was laughing more mid fall. <laughs> of course, I was like the only one that drove, so no one drove me to the hospital. Yeah, that's another thing, like freaking. <laughs> Colch had his license, like, I think two full years before any of us got her license. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but there's a woman out there that had her permit for three well, fucking years. Shout out to my fiance. I have my license before Colton. I have my license before Colton. I had my permit for the longest time, and I still drove with just my permit, though. So I think one one more Arturo house memory, and I'll I'll make fun of myself for it, and Arturo's can tell the story, but... Butter... Butter knife, avocado. It got brought up the other day, so go <laughs> go in go into detail on that one. Bro, dude, I wasn't even in there when you did it. You were in the kitchen. I was in the fucking living room watching TV, and I just see you walk in with a fucking butter knife. You're like, I cut myself, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I fucking walk in there and your fucking fingers all bleeding. I'm like, how the fuck did you cut yourself with a butter knife? 
<laughs> it was a curry when everyone dude. was eating avocado toast and ass, you know? It was like, <laughs> it was like dreams, like, bro, I was, bro. my finger was cut open severely from that butter knife. Like, it wasn't even just like a simple cut, it was severe. <laughs> me it was and, like to the bone. Yeah, me, it was terrible. Uh, butter knife. Me and Arturo were talking about this. This is why it got brought up while he was at my house. And I was like, you literally have to to be cutting for a long period of time to cut your finger with a fucking butter knife. Like, He's probably just thinking about Minecraft and got lost in the <laughs> <life>. <laughs> I've never played a game of Minecraft, but that's the ongoing. Lies. Lies. <laughs> I've seen you play Minecraft, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we had a world. <laughs> oh yeah, you also, I also forgot this, you might know Cam from the Madden match, that was bullshit, because their fucking connection was ass. I still beat you. I still I was beat that you. Zany streaming that shit. I still beat yeah. you. <laughs> See, yeah. Lange will come to the streams, but he still won't subscribe. He, yeah, he subscribed to <laughs> me. Yeah, what the? And you're not subscribed <laughs> to me. Lange, you now get yeah, the, you get the other douchebag oh. fucking the, title. The on YouTube. Just make one. It's not very you have hard a Gmail. You have a Gmail. Or through Facebook. Then you have a YouTube. <laughs> yeah. That seriously, if you have a Gmail, you have a YouTube channel. Well, you hashtag get Lange to subscribe to Tree Dog. Yeah, flip the comments with hashtag Lange subscribe. Lange just finesses first graders through email now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he stares maniacally at school shooting. So, <laughs> so what's a, anybody got another classic trap home story that they can think of off top right now? I haven't said my favorite one, but I don't know oh. which one's my favorite one. Is I, uh, Dude, they're they're all started? like really self-incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that true. I was gonna say something, but it's really funny. Yeah, it's like me. yeah, it's something. you're gonna just self it. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay, so no, Mike. If you say one, I'll say one. Okay, okay but you guys I, just have to word it in a certain way where you won't get in trouble. Oh, you know what? I, I won't get in trouble for this because oh, yeah, there's statute of limitations. I was, it was right Did after... Did you just say he, her, his... his oh, no, his it was right after Christmas, and I got butt-ass naked, and I started letting fireworks off, and the cop <laughs> showed up. Oh, dude, I was like, I was like, Mike, dude, I got these firecrackers. He's like, holy oh, fuck, let me see them. Gets naked. Starts letting off firecrackers, lights them, jumps over them, balls barely get torched with them, you know? And just, we know, freaking or, cop shows up. Dude. And then I got part two. Um, <laughs> oh, well, we lost our friend Josh because he went running through fucking, uh... Also, are, Josh ain't here, so... Yeah, that Josh. was the first time Josh came over. Yeah, and we're hammered, and Josh goes sprinting into the fucking night, and we go to look for him, and I tell him all, I'm like, you ain't finding him, Josh is actually really fucking fast, like, he's, <laughs> he's by <laughs> man's right now, I'm willing to bet. He had to use snap maps to navigate his way home. And I was like... He Damn, like five bro, fences. Bangkok has Josh now. <laughs> <laughs> and we all just started dying, dude. And then, oh, five oh, to get and then one the time, nuts. Colton put a lit cigarette out on my nuts, and I was picking lint out for like three months. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's, Mike's the putting, wild one. Mike's putting cigarettes out on his nuts, but not really. So I'm like, okay, let me do this. And I actually leave a scar right yeah. on him. Yeah, I still have a white spot on there, bro. So I think another good story, a good Mike <laughs> Treven Cold story. Is oh boy, we <laughs> were we were just driving through. I think it was on Thanksgiving of all days. Oh, uh, when you guys partook in something and I was babysitting. Uh, yeah, no, it was near the end. Yeah, it was near the end, and then so we're coming back to Colton's house, and there's this rat. We see this dude smoke this raccoon, right? Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't Thanksgiving. That wasn't yeah. That, uh, that was, was a different night when we were. I was with you guys in the car. Yeah, That's so literally, it was so bad. the guy in front of us smokes this raccoon. And us being the good Samaritans we are, we're like, we don't want this raccoon to suffer. So we hit it, and it doesn't die. And, uh, and, double tap doesn't work. And, and, Mike, and Mike, you won't pick it up from there? I took a rubber mallet <laughs> out of the back of my trunk. Don't ask me why it's in there. <laughs> and I walked up to it, and I gave it a few love taps on the head, and it just went go. And eventually it got the job done, but it was fucked up because I felt bad. I didn't want it suffering. And I just shit scope it with a rubber mallet in the middle of the fucking street. <laughs> Dude, and he th it sounds vicious, but this raccoon was actually suffering. Like, it was... And dumb. then I hit it with the car and it, like, ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But the first one, it crippled, apparently. Yeah, did you guys know Mike drives a Mustang? Oh. It looks like a piece of shit because I've hit, like, two turkeys, chased the deer off the <laughs> a road A golden with it. retriever. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was something I wasn't going to 
to say. <laughs> <laughs> My car will still smoke you in a race. You have a Dodge Charger. No oh yeah, that's 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 the debate here. We got we got a race going on. We got. Yeah, I know for a fact I will win. Dodge there's Charger. A, there's not even a challenge. I have a Hemi. What, what I have year? A Hemi. My dad had a Hemi too, and it was slow. What year's your Dodge Charger? I'll 11. show you something. Eleven. Eleven. I know okay, I still perfect. beat you. I know. What I motor's in it? Five point seven. Two thousand eleven. Five point seven. Dodge that's Charger. It's a miracle. Five point seven. How do we got eight people in here, but we don't got a Jamie? To look I'll give you my stock horsepower. My I stock at uh, 370 or 470. 370, and it's a much heavier car. I'm at 350, and it's lighter. Yeah, and I can prove that. I power you, power I to weight you, ratio, Mike, power to weight ratio, and I have a manual transmission. Mike, I promise you, I, I have all-wheel drive. I'll still kick your ass. No, all-wheel drive is even slower. I will pick up traction before you do. I will beat you. I'm telling you. Okay, it, when you get your car fixed, we are racing, and I'm going to put you in the dirt. When so I get quick. my car fixed, it's going to be sold, and then I'm just going to get gonna, a no, before you sell it, before you sell okay. it, I'm gonna rate, we're going to race. I'm going to put you in the dirt real quick. So I'm not even going to go. I raced 65. all my friends in Moscow. I I've beaten, I've beaten every car in Moscow. Yeah, I haven't fun. lost in a race yet. Let's I go. haven't and lost you, in a race and I used to drive a Honda Accord. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like whipping around my Ford Taurus, dude. Dude, that thing was badass. My Ford Taurus literally blew All I'm saying up. Is on I know me. I'll beat your Mustang. That's okay, not a fast car. Ripped, I'm not even saying my Mustang's fast because it's a V6. And Dodge made a V8 that's only 370, and I have a V6 with a 350. So what does that say about Dodge? It's about as potent as Layton. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know my car will beat you. <laughs> won't. Yeah, it will. It won't. It's an RT Sport. It is a V8 with all-wheel drive, and it's only pushing 370 with a V8? That's anemic, and it's a 2011. You want to see what a V8 2011 Mustang motor holds? I'll still beat you. It's a 405 horsepower yeah, car. You'll beat, yeah, I'll beat you with less horsepower. <laughs> you will not. Oh, my God. All right, bet. I'll put money on it. We'll right put now. curb weight on there, we'll too. Put, we'll put you want to find out we'll what put, the curb weight is? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I promise you. Weight, power I'll, to I'll weight ratio money. doesn't matter? I'll put money on it so, right now. I'll put money on this right now. Your car is a, 40, a 4450, 100, uh, 4,450 pounds. Mike. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm put. I'll put money on it. I'm that confident that I'll beat your car. I'll put a hundred dollars on it okay. right now. Okay. But I'll we'll, do that. Don't do we'll do that. Don't do hundred dollar bets. Shake on the crew. Yeah. Don't do hundred dollar bets. Yeah, you know. You okay. And uh, we'll get. We'll do a little bit. I promise to Mike, because I know Mike hates it, but we're only going to talk about football for a oh little bit. Oh, my God. Not football, flag but me, football. Me, no, not flag football, but, you know, me and Colge made the bet. Saints, Eagles, before we got Big Dick Nick, and he's like, dude, it's Big Dick Nick. They're going to beat the Saints. Won a hundred bucks off of fucking cold for it's that game. It's getting pretty smoky. It's getting pretty smoky. I know, dude. We should probably chill. Yeah, that fire alarm's gonna go off. Like, I'm podcast. kidding. Stop looking at me. I yeah. know you're potent. So one so thing I want to do is we'll go in a we'll go in a circle jerk here. And we'll talk about who's your favorite football team and give like a couple reasons why. Mike, you're don't first. even. No, I should go last. All right, anything. Cam, should go. My favorite team is the New England Patriots. And I started watching football, and it happened to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah oh, no, shit. I started watching football. And it happened to be the year the Patriots went undefeated, and I went to the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl game against the Giants was actually the first game I happened to watch, and I had no clue that the Patriots were, under, uh, were undefeated at the time. And I was like, you know what, the Patriots are my favorite team because everyone was rooting against the Patriots. So I was like, fuck everyone, I'm gonna go with the Patriots. And, and ever since then, I fell in love with the Patriots, mostly because of Randy Moss. He's just I honestly think he's the best receiver. I think he's better than Jerry Rice. Dude, I, but st- I, agree. I still have that monster. That's I, I'm gonna give him back. I, oh, you have it? Have That's it. where it is? I've been looking for it. I thought someone stole it. Oh, I told him. Dude, I he was have, telling that's mine. Yeah, I have his and Quality. Dude, I will pour yeah, my out machine of Dude, I will, I will literally. I don't have that. I have the. Tell him more. I have the MJD. I have the Kelly. Dude, I will literally drive you home tonight so I can get that jersey. I will follow you so I can get that jersey. All yeah. right. But so, okay, so like okay, Patriots are Patriots are my favorite team because of Randy Moss, and yeah, it's the about best. It. Why not? All right, fits if it's I not agree. obvious. Larry. 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 He's way better than Jerry. Uh, I was born into the Green Bay Packers. Didn't want that, so I went with a team that I liked the color scheme. Yeah, I, I do was, like the I, colors. When I was younger, so you know, you just pick a, something that looks good. And I also really liked Anquan and Larry back in the day, the the dynamic duo and. I just kind of went with that, and we were shitty back it's then. A, then we got Warner, we got good. Back so then. I've been, I've been, still going. Oh uh, yeah, now it's been an up and down roller coaster, but I'm still riding it. All right, I'm but mostly down. Our turds, mostly down. yeah. Our turds, let her go. Seahawks, boys. 
Explain, explain that one. Fuck, dude. Well, you know, fuck. I grew up fucking soccer. Yeah. But yeah. since we came down here, my fucking dad loved all Seattle sports. So you know, the Seahawks. Of course. Every day, every day they'd play. My dad would fucking watch them. I don't even think he understood football. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just watched it. Be fucking hundred percent honest. I don't think he understood it. I'm pretty sure he just watched it. You know, ever since I was a fucking kid, boy. The Seahawks. Doesn't make it bad that, you know, Russell Wilson, second year in the league, Super Bowl Highest champion. Paid, what about best all around quarterback in the NFL. Luigi? Well, just like Brad, I came from a Packers family as well, brother and dad likes him. But I'm a Ravens fan wearing a Lamar jersey. Yeah. We'll see about that this year. Fuck, I think like 8 and 8. No. <laughs> so. Fuck, dude, I want 100 bucks off my dad. Because of the fucking Packers. Really? And the Super Bowl versus the Steelers. Oh, fuck, dude. If we were young back then, yeah. too. $100 back then would have fucking got you a lot of trips to live in. I don't know, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. I grew up... We used to yeah. steal. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up Not around you. Green Bay, but... I, if anything, I like you the do, Bears more than the fucking Packers. Just that little corner store oh, yeah, we did steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> Being with, like, fucking... Drevin likes the fucking Bears, and I always fucking hate the Pack just because how much fucking <laughs> Lucas hyped him when they are shit. Nah. So, but, I know you started off as a Colts fan. Why'd you hop wagons? You're yeah. Do, okay, so I have the, our fourth grade <laughs> class photo. Mine mine left. And me and Lage were in that, and he has a number 18 movie. <laughs> Supposed to be Peyton Manning, but it said Allers on the back, didn't it? Yeesh. Yeah. I think I oh. still have that. Fucking blue is my favorite color, and Peyton Manning's my favorite fucking quarterback of all time. That's yeah, why I'm number 18. Like dog I had an Oakland would, Raiders 75 Alvarado Peyton, jersey. Peyton Manning over fucking Tom Brady. No. No. Oh. No, that's just stupid. They passed on. Oh, who you take to the playoffs? I'm a Raiders fan. I would take Brady. Uh, he take, broke the crew. He broke the yeah. whole fucking room. I would, Brady yeah, way I would say Brady in the playoffs, but fucking Manning had a... Manning was a regular season guy, then he changed. Okay, but Brady was still a regular season Dude, guy. Dude, stats are great and all, but I don't it's know, like. I think it's Otto Graham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Johnny Otto Graham, United before is. we get into this fucking debate, we got Barnage. Oh, dog pound. Yeah. Baker oh. Mayfield's the best ever, and he puts yeah, his pinky up at off. the end. Yeah. Explain, no. explain how that fucking He's business the started. Uh, He's the Browns. To be honest. Dick. And he does I too. I became a, yep. a fan of the Browns because of the movie Draft Day. I loved it. And they just Dude, drafted Johnny Manziel. Movie. And I was super hyped for Johnny Manziel. Yeah, for cocaine and dropping out. And then uh, <laughs> I just rode that all the way down to Shitsville. And now we have Baker Mayfield. Yeah. 7 and 9, boys. <laughs> Wait, you go 7 and 9 or 6 two. and 10 yeah. last year? 7, seven or 8. Or, yeah, oh, 7 yeah. 8 and 1. Is that a losing dude, season? I talk, yeah. 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 Just yeah. dude, me and Bryce Could talked about this. Our favorite the Steelers. Is bring the first game of the year. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Oh, the week God. one tie. So he has to look him up. Yeah. Because of a field. Do you know the quarterback, Hugh Mungus? Hugh Jackson? Hugh Jackson's a fucking everything about All right, Cole, you're up next. So my favorite... NFL football team Where's is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Boo. Antonio Brown, a legend. Antonio Hi, Brown's a legend. Yeah, but he's not there anymore. He's not there anymore. That's all right. <laughs> Neither is Le'Veon Bell. You're fucked. Neither. Le'Veon we'll Bell doesn't want to talk to his I think teammates. they'll be all right. It's all right. They still, uh, still, just fine, I think. still got respect for all of them. <laughs> Even still got the jerseys. But I started being a fan because the first recollection of football I remember is the, I don't remember what Super Bowl was, but it was the the Steelers and the Seahawks and the Steelers won, so yeah. I kind of hopped on the bandwagon when I was, Dude, what, nine years old or something football. like that. Yeah, you barely had a tail on that little right. semen pod. Exactly, <laughs> so I hopped on that bandwagon and i just been on it since. Dude, I have a Joe Hayden. And I absolutely hate Pittsburgh Steelers, but I do love James Harrison, Heath Miller, and Heinz Ward, the pastime Heinz legends. Ward's badass. Yeah, yeah. Heinz Ward He's such a great guy. I'm, 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 I'm not even talking... 
like Ed trying Reed, to bag uh, on the George Arizona Blanc Cardinals, Blanc. but do you remember when he had that toe tap? Oh, wait, was that Heinz Ward? Not San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio okay, Holmes. that's who I really like. San Antonio. He Holmes. had a good toe that, tap. That yeah, was, I think his toe tap was better than Antonio's, to be honest. Oh, okay. well, no, but that th- one, obviously. Yeah. yeah, that was the only one that ever mattered, and it ended a Super Bowl. Yeah, and like the only reason we were in it because of Larry, and Larry's fucking still lost. San Antonio. San All right, Antonio. Mike. MVP. So. I don't know why I'm a fan of these guys. Shit. Um, <laughs> Oakland Raiders, but like seriously, Fits your personality. my personality. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, my first memory though was my dad fucking losing his shit when I think we played the Buccaneers in a Super Bowl. Oh yeah. That I was too. little. I was a pint high probably, and yeah, that was fucking bad. I remember him losing his <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, I was small. Was that 2001? That was 2002. 2002, yeah. So, yeah, so I was three only, years old. I was yeah. three or four years old, yeah. and I always thought I didn't remember things, but I was talking to you guys, or before five, and I didn't think I remembered anything before then. You know, my dad losing his shit at the TV when Gruden fucking led uh, the Buccaneers just to absolutely fuck us up. Like, that was bad. Woodson went out, like, quarter one of that, yeah. quarter two. It was a bad fucking game. That was... That's why I still don't want Gruden on our fucking coaching That's staff. That's why you're still a little, little hesitant. No, everybody was like, oh, Gruden's the savior. And I'm, like, looking at all the records being posted after the Super Bowl. He wasn't shit. He took already built teams to the playoffs and stuff like that. That's not impressive. He a 10-year contract. Yes. Yeah. Highest paid coach in NFL. He made more than Bill Belichick. And he's fucking... Yeah. There, there's going to be nobody <laughs> like him. After but he's, he's not that good of a coach, to be honest. How is he not? I don't think he's that good of a coach. I don't. I'll have to disagree with you. I mean, no, no. Like no, he's a good coach. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's a bad coach. coach. I think he's a good no, coach. I don't coach think he's was. worth as much as they're paying. And it was all us. Man, but I don't think he's that. You know what? I, I will. I'm not going to argue that because my Raiders just paid Gruden 110 million a year to fucking. So I, I just don't think he's worth that much. I think at best, 80, 90. Well, you know what I, you know what I feel bad for is uh, he was supposed to have a really big legacy. He's not ripping on Tom Brady, but he wanted to scrap Tom Brady. And win with Jimmy that. Garoppolo, yeah. they didn't do that. I mean, it you gotta admit, so shit's gonna be bad awesome. because he's gonna take off when Brady leaves, and then that's it. Those, those are the only two leaders on that team because they bring in fucking Fry Broys and Lacrosse dudes to play a different <laughs> yeah. sport. Yeah, yeah. we're all Patriots, not even on the Patriots. The Patriots, the Patriots, the Patriots, the the Patriots somehow they find the nobodies yeah, and they turn what, they turn two, those nobodies into like. Yeah. Like, like star yeah. players, like stars. they, they, they turn him into superstars. Well, who was the yeah, guy that got that famous end zone first, pick? First, first Ma- uh, was it Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm Butler. Yeah, Malcolm Butler. Mal- what has he done since uh, that one play? He plays for Tennessee now. But what has he yeah, done? He nothing. Shit, nothing. So. nothing yeah. He takes these dudes that have no star power other than Brady. I mean, Gronk's got star power. I mean, like but Brady had like n- name mm-hmm. name name like more than ten like name more than six receivers Brady's had besides Gronk or Moss that I, I, that haven't actually been. Yeah, he had Julian Edelman. Like, and okay. then who, West Walker didn't do shit anywhere okay. else for but yeah, one year was, was, when he went to the Rams when he went to the Patriots booty hole. Man, no, no, yeah, but Patriots, that's what I mean though. Rams and they the, have Rams good and the receivers when they're on the Patriots when Brady when Danny went to the Dolphins. Booty hole. Yeah, I mean, like, like every time we have a receiver and they go to a different team, they turn into shit. I mean, like every single receiver. What's Randy Walker's Ma- on the Randy coaches. Moss when he went to the for- when he retired with the 49ers, Yeah, he was old, but he was still shit. Some he people forget he didn't retire with the Niners. He retired with the Titans. Oh yeah, he did. Dude, he played for the oh, Titans shit. for one year. I, did. I forgot about that. Yeah. He retired with the Titans. Oh yeah. You know I mean, what like, though? Stock, he was I mean, real... like still like he was shit Kinda before like, the uh, Raiders. Was I mean, like, like 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 the year huh? before. No, it was Randy yeah. Moss. He did play though. He played pretty well for the Raiders. Yeah, I'm like yeah, but the year before he went to the Raiders, he wasn't that good. He had one catch. Last season. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. yeah I remember but that. But he retired from Texas. Did he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, there's not many receivers that Brady's actually had reliable receivers like throughout his whole entire career. Maybe for m- at most one or two years. Like Brandon Cooks, we had him for one year. He was an he amazing was... receiver, but he had the most drop pass that year. But I, you know what though, the, I mean, the only I person that I think that brought Brady, that talent Brady, from the Brady, Patriots Brady was fucking Gronk. Garoppolo, dude. Yeah. When he, uh, I know, I know, I, he got I think he's overhyped. I honestly think he's over. We don't know what we're getting. He with gets Jimmy hurt too in. much. He gets hurt too much. He's already hurt. He's yeah, already no, hurt. he was out for one year, and the year beforehand, he was. He gets he hurt went, too much already. He went what four or five and zero as a starter for a team that hadn't won a game yet. The 49ers. Yeah, I mean, like no, yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah, he, he went, he went like good. seven and zero. Yeah, 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 he was doing good, but then yeah. boom. And hurt. then the one play he played on, like the game where the starter got hurt, he threw a touchdown. Yeah, it's the Seahawks. 
Yeah, he was seven and zero, oh, but then he had the the next season he came in. Oh, so was the first week of this year. Yeah. Yeah, he but no, lost. he still. Wait, did he get in, injured this year or last year? Last, last, year. last year. What did the 49ers do this? Oh, no, the, they had the third overall pick. Yeah, yeah. 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 This year, he had that but he didn't have. They didn't have Garoppolo. So they have maybe two maybe. weeks, three weeks, maybe. I think. Yeah. All right. I, I think he's a talent, but yeah, injuries he's definitely. I think thing. he's overhyped. All right, one more, one more topic. I did this last, so Mike wouldn't have to bitch about it. But we do... You can't end on this. Thought. Okay, yeah, we won't end on it, obviously, like with the dialogue going on. I'm sure we'll end with a fucked up mic story. But <laughs> but anyway... You already said the dog. We play Marcus backyard Marcus football on the regular Marcus. since we were maybe eight yeah, years yeah. old. <laughs> and honestly, we've all had games where we've gone off or we've sucked or just classic moments that have happened. So I want to go around, and I even think Mike has a moment or two. Oh no, share. the only moment I had. We'll start off with Mike, your favorite backyard football. Fucking movie. me and Austin Fortin showed up to play football. We haven't we I've I haven't played football in like three years. Austin, dude, I, I remember that. Yeah, I when yeah, and Austin, I just kept picking on good. Austin, but like. I was slinging like bat. What what was it? What was like? I was doing great. It was. You were just slinging the rock, dude. Playing. I picked on Austin all the time, and everybody covered him. But like, he was just. I was throwing. Where I was supposed to go for right. once, and Austin had like three for fucking fuck. touchdowns. Just went the fuck off. It made no fucking sense, because the only workout like me and Austin did was like, oh okay, this is gonna tie into a story. But the only time I seen me and Austin be athletic at the same time before that is. We got chased by some crazy skank at Rosar's. I was there. What? No, no, no. Oh, you were? Yeah, was. When she pulled the knife out yeah. on... Le- um, oh, what's his name? Lane, Lane Clements. Yeah. We were supposed to not do any name drops, but... Well, that's all right. He, yeah. he, we actually... The cops came and they were on our side for, for once when we were little kids, which is rare because kids are shits, but... Yeah, this chick fucking pulled him, like, was chasing us in her big ass lifted Chevrolet... And was fucking chasing us. I actually did something athletic. I did like a pull up into like this little the horse trailer and was and like the the gaps only like this big. I did a pull up and shot my legs through and hid in there because she was chasing us, dude. I, I was I was honestly so fucking scared out of my mind. I was like my shorts were filled with shit and I was sprinting away from her. All right, Colge, favorite backyard football memory, dog. So uh, it was it was one of the snow games we played. Yeah, and it was. So we usually play on the left side of the field, but we play on the right side of the field. Uh-huh. This was recent, like, it, <laughs> it was like, like two years, two years this ago. Is the ice fucking game. Lane's all this yeah, it was when Barnett. It was when Barnett had the cane. Remember? And I was like, two remember when Barnett had the so cane? Dude, we talked oh. about this the last week. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, I just remember I did really good. I got a couple picks, and I remember I, I, uh, I strips, stripped. Uh, it was a derp. No, I stripped. Uh, it was Jaren. It was, was Jaren. I, yeah. I don't, yeah. don't want to drop any names, but yeah, it was Jaren. Because I remember I, I was I was I was covering him the whole time, and I was whooping his ass. And right. I got and I got like one of the few safeties that we ever get. In yeah, that like one of the three of all time in like a twelve year history. And yeah, Barnage got one. Of yeah, Barnage has a safety too. Yeah, yeah. two out of the three safeties are Dude, completed by. Do you remember by... when you were gonna go after Jaren and then he fucking jukes and fumbles the ball? Dude, yeah, that was it, and then Dude. I got the safety. Yeah, that, that was the whole game. I was like headhunting. I, I remember. I remember. I was being a dick. Like Dude, honestly. You fucking torpedoed us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was pissing me off because he caught it, and I tagged him. He's like, "No one got me," and I, he's hobbling off the cane. I was like, "Whatever," and I just I shoved him, and like he took five big steps and just face planted in the snow. He's like, "My fucking knee fucked up," you know. And I'm like, "Whatever, bitch," you know. And I was so pissed off, but I did really good that game. So, Bart, before we get into your favorite memory, let's, let's explain why you had the cane in hand. Uh, during that game. Why were you playing football with a cane? Is it because you're dedicated to the game? Uh, yes, <laughs> I was very dedicated in the game you when we never been. played in the Camera. snow and it was the been. one time everyone actually played in the snow when was, was I was injured. So I was like, screw it, I'm playing. Dude, Why did you have the cane, though? He fucking flipped that school. It was the most. It was the most mobile. It was the most passes. mobile way to get around. Or the deflect pass. I remember I was I fucking around with that cane. You're like Colton. I need that cane. I fucked up my knee at school or something <laughs> like that. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so, Barn, favorite backyard football memory? Ah, uh, my favorite memory is probably gotta tackled. be 
the catch over cons. Uh, the, uh, and then insert the picture In, here. Yeah, insert the picture. Oh, here. one hander. Oh, that, it was a bomber. It's gonna be the biggest bitch going through this podcast. Oh, it was, I'll send you all it the was pictures. Beauty. It was definitely a beauty. I'll put camera. that video of me. I almost on feel, camera. I almost feel like I'm doing this more for me and everybody here than the YouTube viewers, but it's okay because I wanted to do this. But. One of our buddies uh, wore GoPro while we were playing and caught a whole game and caught the most beautiful. That's ever. that's the next vlog, dude. It's, we gotta do. We gotta do a freaking backyard football. That vlog. was fucking how many years ago? And you've still made big. That was years. yeah. Barn Barn's one of the most reliable targets. Four years out there. ago, maybe. He makes spectacular plays. That's yeah. what he's good for. Yeah, my stock type dealer is a ninety nine. Yeah. And his carry. I don't know before. Before <laughs> yeah. it feels like one like. Uh, like five inches above him before he would not get it because that nigga cannot jump. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lage, you're up next. <coughs> Favorite Fuck. backyard football memory? I don't know. I was going to say the one about the fucking GoPro shot. Nick. Were you? What's, what's another good one? What about that time know. you teleported? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do that yeah. one. Yeah, well... Caught a pass probably from Dreeb or something. Well, actually, I didn't uh, catch obviously it. Obviously, Dreeb. Yeah, yeah. Dreeb, the best quarterback in backyard football. Is and football. at the end of one of the end zones, there's a fucking fence to someone's house. <laughs> and all I remember is looking at the ball and then just getting up and being like, holy fuck, I teleported. <laughs> yeah, just freaking rammed into it. Passed out for a couple seconds. I guess I was laying up. there for like, yeah, five seconds yeah. just not moving. Is that a Rice Krispie treat? <laughs> oh, no. But bottom line, oh, all I remember boy. is like looking at the Let's ball, <laughs> catching the ball, and then just waking up. Thought it teleported. <laughs> Concussed. Okay. All right, right, next well. up, we got our turge. Our turge. I know my favorite our turge backyard football memory was we were in... Before we go with our turn, I guess. I remember we were fucking... We were, we were in a situation. It was fourth and one in redemption, and we were going to win. And I just fucking hit Arturo on the slant route. And it was the worst throw I've ever thrown in my entire life. But Arturo just got underneath it. I remember that. And I literally was like so hyped about that. That was my favorite Arturo moment. But anyway, what was your favorite? Oh, I don't even remember any of the games, bro. There's too many. <laughs> yeah, there's way too there many. Fuck. I always love playing against James. That's a matchup. Movies. That's always a matchup. Yeah, Jameson. Hashtag Jameson's a knob versus our Turge matchup. In it's the always, bush. Yeah, in the bush. And Jameson gets away with so so much shit that we can't, you can't easy. call it on him. No. He just uses his he uses his hands and he has perfect placement it with everything. Like, it just yeah. looks good. It just looks good. What he'll do is he'll wait for the ball to get like probably 10 yards from you and then he'll grab the back of your shirt and rip you back before he goes up and gets the ball. And he does it perfectly every time. Even on offense, he'll rip like the inside yeah. of your... Yeah, I'm just sure where nobody bitch. can see it. You know, you have you have a lot of nerve football. to talk about fucking Jameson's hand placement when you've ripped two of his shirts. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's right. I don't deal with it after that's a while. Why we don't play tackle. All right, Fitz, you already kind of get rolling. What's your favorite foot memory? Uh, I don't. I, probably my favorite is is the the slowest spin move in history. Oh, to win the crew game. Dick, that was gonna be mine. Damn it! Oh, you already said yours. To huh. win the crew that game. That was my favorite so, Arturo moment. So, uh, Arturo. Th there's just a bunch of bitching going on, and Treep threw me a quick little out route, and I just hit the slowest spin move I've ever hit, ever. And Lucas and was Lucas bitching, <laughs> but he missed. He missed you me, caught and, it. and I just took off running, and I ended up scoring the game winner. And that was the, the best day game. of all. So, Lake has... I knew that was going to go on. God damn it! Mike, turn the fucking fire We're alarm. We're trying to turn off the fire alarm. Or that asshole keep it. Let me fucking see. Under the fire alarm. Yeah. yeah Somebody, Jesus no. fucking Christ. No. No. Where's my bank? All right. Sorry for that technical Wait. difficulty there. Uh, we're on Cam's now. Cam's, what's your favorite? You know where the Fooge moments are? Oh, when you fucking run yeah, hella hard. I think my favorite Dude. Fooge moment. Those are the best. <laughs> Where's the Fooge moments? Tell it. Yeah, you Dude, Bryce, Bryce, going, hard Bryce running always. hard is something you don't want to match up against. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Cam's, what's your favorite moment? Back when I had the lungs, I'd run hard every oh, play. Yeah. My favorite Fooge moment is probably... 
the only game me and Lucas have ever actually been on target with each other. And like actually same team. We were on the same team and we we're we we're like we always we've always butt heads with football because like we just have that mind. We have the same mindset in football, I honestly think. And we were just always butt heads, and we were on the same team this one time, this fi- finally for one time. And then me and him were just going off. Like, he was throwing dimes after a dime after a dime. And I honestly think I had, like, at the end of the day, I think I had, like, eight touchdowns all because of Lucas, and they are all from him. And we just, it was just. It was like, come shit, on, come like, on. Yeah, it was probably, like, it was probably, that was probably my, my, my favorite game. Oh, Mark. So to cap off my favorite fudge moment is when I proved Leighton fucking wrong. What? My favorite fudge moment was when we were talking shit in the crew chat and Leighton's like, I'm a better quarterback than Treeb, I'd fuck him up if it was me against him. And then I fucking smoked him. Five to two. Wasn't even close. Oh, my other favorite uh, football moment. Came out cocky. My other favorite football moment is I love being quarterback. Because I love having the option to run around with oh these. Oh, my God. Because these fuckheads, when I'm the quarterback and they rush me, they don't understand these moves. They can't keep <laughs> no, up. It's not. Young it's boy, not literally, you it's you all, all, literally, you all hit it. Literally, all people are rushing. Dude, dude, when dude, someone dude, throws dude, it to you. And dude, I love so it. Rush. Dude, I love I'm doing, like, my nickname. Happening. My nickname RG5. in backyard football is RG5, and I just fucking... A self-proclaimed nickname. I run that yeah. shit. I run that shit. And, oh, dude. Actually, I have to say, my, my second favorite. This ain't even at the... Because we played backyard football at Orchard School. But my we were playing in junior high. I think it was 8th grade, ninth grade. We were playing at, we were playing at SAC. We were playing football at, at lunchtime. And then Layton's running with a football oh, across the oh, fence. Yeah. Oh, and I see this guy. We're freshman, we're, 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 we're freshmen. And we're, we're, we're both running full fucking speed. I was so and fucking Yeah, we were running full fucking. Kick we were running full oh, fucking. Yeah, it was like happening to be on a kick was. return. And we were running full yeah. speed. And I'm the last guy to go get him. I was like, oh, fuck me. Layton's fast. I'm not that fast. I better fucking haul my ass. So I'm going there. I don't slow down at all. And we're getting real close to the fence. I'm seeing the fence. And we're getting real close. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to shoot the gap. I'm going to tag late and probably in this, and hit the little little four-foot gap we have and not, not hit the fence. That would be cool. Then I ended up touching Leighton. And he goes straight into the fence. <laughs> I and remember he goes, that. Boom! And he gets his ass. He gets his ass smacked. <laughs> and oh my god, I got. Bro, I, I got. So I got up. so much That's shit so for. I got. True. I got Everyone so, wanted to be on Cameron's team until. Yeah, like, for the longest team, I was. I was the baller. I was the was baller. The ball like, hog. Nah. Oh, yeah, I was, I was the, I was, the, I was for sure. They wanted to be on me and Bryce's team because we actually we got dubs. We, yeah. we, we got, <laughs> I got dubs a lot. The fuck? We got dubs and we spread the ball around. I got and dubs and I biggest I, fucking ball hog. What receiver all did time. I have on my team? You have Nick and your own best Nick friend son, left. Nick yeah. sucks. Oh, oh, no. Nick sucks. Nick sucks. Nick sucks. Nick Nick sucks. Nick sucks. Nick sucks. Ethan did too. Both Nick, of them. They both suck, oh, Nick. Yeah. And I have myself. Zach even almost came over. No, I had Zach. Me and Zach, we ran that shit and we ran we ran that game Me and but I got, so, I got so i got so i got so i got so much shit for that i even got so much shit for i even couldn't play football we even threw it to andrew ammons yeah he was i threw it to him i threw it to him he caught all he caught all of my passes somehow didn't our fucking fudge games originally start at the field on sack yeah yeah that's where the fudge originated during lunch we couldn't play on that no we just played up by the yeah Court. Sack was such horse shit. They actually treated us like legitimate, like prisoners, dude. Like, we're getting <laughs> new shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pencils in the courtyard. Yeah, salt. <laughs> All right. Oh so my God. Mrs. I like Mrs. Gaylord. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Gaylord loved me. Yeah, I loved we her. were in there so much. Yeah. She had to. <laughs> she, loved she loved us. She had to love Bro, who do you think was the most dominant backyard food player? Yeah. Like statistically? Either late or me. Dream, yeah, if he's quarterback, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For sure. Well, yeah, and wide out and like everything. Dude, honestly, I think if we're talking wide outs, it's pretty spread. I feel like because like I don't know, me and Layton, because Cameron and Layton may be like the number ones, but like they also get like yeah, we get triple, less tack. We get triple cover. Honestly, this if I if I had fuck? to say the you most reliable, it, so yeah, we, we get triple. Yeah, if I'm talking the two know. most reliable. Rival, a, reliable receivers in backyard football? Me. I was going to say Barn and Bryce. Barn. 
<laughs> no, let's be honest. Sometimes it's Brun ran super hard and then just missed the ball. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I, <laughs> okay, but that's I don't trust they don't Bryce enough. Place it right. I don't trust Bryce. I just got that. Honestly, honestly, I have hands. Honestly, yeah, think, in my prime, about. you didn't need to throw it right. I would right. honestly no, have to say, you were, yeah, you were I'd still come down. I honestly think low key one of the best corners is Colton because he's just so fucking long. Oh like, my he, god, dude, he has just such no. long arms you can't even like fucking find a place. So just for how short I am, yeah. I have a good wingspan. I remember after Colton had one of those nights where he should have gone alcohol poisoning, you came huh. and played. Football and then you just start bleeding everywhere. Uh, yeah, I, I had a bloody nose. I had to stop for the rest of the game. Who do you think's had the most injuries in backyard footage? Or turds? Either a turds or bondage for sure. One of these two, yeah. Bro, I sure. my ankle. Yeah, he rolls his ankle. Two games. Yeah. yeah, or his or your knee hurts. <laughs> or your bag. Or your the most ACL. dedicated stuff to me, bro. I played with the torn PC. The out. first time I ever met Arturo, you carried uh, Zach. Um, what's Taylor? Taylor. Taylor, Taylor off on your back like a bag. It was the weirdest shit. You're just like hop on He's Zach sweet. and He's fucking crawl. Dude, the off. first time I met Zach, he told us about how he liked his dick and bit. Yeah. Dude, if I had to say the biggest X factor in footage, it's probably Zach. Because oh, yeah, Zach can dude. blitz and fucking run the ball. He's just Trevin fast. Yeah, Trevin, you always literally handed it off to, to Zach. I know. I but know. we never run. Do. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, fuck. You should stop him. It's two hand touch. I'm literally the only one that runs the football. <laughs> yeah, now you are. I, I even before then, I was I was the only one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that started oh. the running game. Yeah, you started the whole pitch. I for sure, up. yeah, I for sure started the, the pitch, pitch scheme, yeah. the pitch I mean, offensive scheme. I for I'm sure, sure started we that. We only do that when Cameron's. In the <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit, no yeah, one does it. Real. No one does it except Cameron. So <laughs> he's he's like, it's like a flea flicker. It's just he's like definitely. no one does it, but sometimes like it'll no, work. It works. Dude, no, the there. last time we played it, Trevin pitched me the ball, and Atura was all up in my face. Like everyone thought, cause, like the, the past three times before that, I did. So I, I, I was literally running the ball the last three times we did that. Trevin would pitch it, I'd run the ball. And then the fourth time he pitches it to me, and Connor's just Connor Stamper's just down the field, just wide, not not wide open, but he's just down the field. I can't remember who's covering him. Fits. I think yeah, Barnage. Oh, either Barnage. I think it was Barnage actually. And I just fucking chug that shit, and it was a prayer. And literally a Turo, I'm not even kidding, was four inches from t- like literally four inches close. from touching that ball. Like I was so like if I waited just a second or half a second, smash. No, no done. But I barely got that ball off in time. And Connor gets that tutty. And I was like, exactly. oh. Exactly, it's the way you use the four inches. Thank the Lord. <laughs> and the flea flicker came in clutch again. And it just... The that, offensive scheme. That was pretty beautiful. Like, if I literally waited just a, a high second. <laughs> or if he was a taller, if he was just an inch taller. <laughs> boom. Yeah, yeah. The honestly, funny. Connor's not a fair match against me or Arturo. The only thing he had was really speed on you. But that's in corn sports yeah. all the that's time. You, have a, you had a safety. Honestly, though, like Our speed is the, speed is the most important attribute in backyard football. Yeah, and in mathematics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that note, we're gonna end the podcast. All right, oh God. ladies Bro, and gentlemen. Remember when the foreign exchange student came over to play? Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I thought we were ending it. He fucking dominated. Or the dude who threatened to bomb the... Jacks are... Jags are going... Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> next door we have to end with that one. Dude, Jags next, are going 7 and 9. The next door season. neighbor that always <sighs> come and play with us, try and play with us, and then he ends up going to the bowling alley and tries robbing him and some shit. Yeah. Oh, no, he tried oh, robbing a no, bank no, with a bowling ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Saying it was a bomb. It happened to be a bowling ball. Ultimate work for I'm like, you fuck ass. Like we saw him like really a day, like an hour before this. Like what the fuck? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was about an hour long podcast. Like I said, I had a good time recording it, so it'll be fun. You guys will see some fun moments in the video as well. Only took us like um, twelve tries. Yeah, yeah. but it, we got like one good steady hour. I'm just gonna cut some things out. But anyway, so if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. You already know I have all my links down below. Cam, you wanna plug your Instagram, Twitter, anything like that? Oh yeah, Gucci Dot Shears. Mike? No, fuck no. Fitz? <laughs> I'm just Fitz. Arthur? Fitz. Got Sage. Wait, no, try out this Nico Jones at Instagram.com. 
The Colton Jones on Instagram. Efuck.com. <laughs> and that was the Crew Podcast. At Yee <laughs> Lifestyle episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You In guys day. have a great rest of your day. In a bad day.